man, I am really enjoying um, Analog Effects Pro. So I wanted to show you real quick behind this image. Great fun processing it tonight and learning a little bit more about Analog Effects Pro. So I thought I'd share what I learned. Um, so we started with this image, portrait of a gentleman in a ghost town with a very limited population in Nevada. Very cool guy. But anyways, we ended up with this image, and I'm going to go through real quick how we got there. If you've seen in my previous videos, um, an earlier one, if you just follow me or circle me, you can see um, my first tutorial about building custom camera kits. But in this one, I just did a very basic adjustment to get a little more detail in his face and also mute the colors a little bit. You can see what I did there. And I'm really enjoying this light leak, surprisingly. It's, uh, it's, it's good fun. Um, kind of subtle, but I kind of just used it as a way to actually spotlight him and get a little more separation between, or a little more focus on his eyes. You can turn down the strength a little bit on that one. And then I went with just a wet plate, photo plate. And, uh, you know, you can obviously go a little overboard with them, so I just real subtly added my choice was this one. It'd be really cool if anybody from Nick is listening, if you could inverse them, because I like the shape of this one, but I'd rather have the major um, streaks over on this side, but neither here nor there, but that'd be very cool. If you're listening and wanting feedback, I add a little vignette, real subtle. You can see let me open that one up. There we go. Again, just trying to draw the focus on his eyes. Film type. These are great. I love them. So I just chose cool. Oops, turned it off there. There you go, now that it's on. Uh, I just love this. It's kind of a, it's cool. It's kind of a stoic creature. Might run a lighthouse or something. Or a stoic person might run a lighthouse. And I just chose this. Um, that's why I went with the cool one, but then a little higher contrast. That's what those are indicating. And then finally, the coolest thing that I've learned here is they've got levels and curves. But what's very cool about that is you can do RGB channels. Awesome. So I bumped up the reds there and the highlights, and then kind of the midtones dropped the blues, and you can see the effect of that. Love it. Uh, I don't know if Analog Effects Pro would be what it is without a levels and curves adjustment and RGB channels on top of that. Very, very cool. So that's the image. That's my fun with Analog Effects Pro. And uh, hopefully you learned something. I know I'm learning something every day.